What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christopher McCarthy, and on today's episode, we're going to be highlighting 232 East Walton Place, located in the heart of Streeterville. This vintage condo features four bedrooms, four bathrooms, with 3,800 square feet of livable space, and it also has a walkability score of around 80%, which means you should be able to access all of your core amenities within a 10-minute walk. Now, before we get into this home tour, I want to give a huge shout out to the listing agent, Jennifer Ames, for letting us tour her incredible listing. Let's go. wallpaper that just adds a lot of character to the space you could put a mirror right here um, so you can check yourself out before you leave out this front door we have a very modern contemporary light fixture above it's really cool and to my left we have a nice convenient coat closet that's equipped with custom closets built-in shelves drawers um, a place for a seat um, racks and another shelf above very very nice and convenient this is perfect for the winter time when you don't want to like track dirt into your main living space. Definitely, definitely. And it's just very nice that you have the foyer area in general because you know, sometimes in condos when you come in, you're entering the living room or the kitchen, like literally you open the door and you're in the living room. So with that said, we're gonna open these beautiful French doors um, and we're going to enter into the dining room area. As you can see, these French doors are the same tone of wood as the trim around the openings. I love it because it just creates a great contrast to the space. This is the dining room area. We have the tray ceiling with the ambient lighting with this amazing geometric design up, up top. I mean, it's just incredible. What do you think about that? It's the first on the channel. We've Definitely never seen anything the first like on the this. Channel. Never seen anything like this before. It's just such an amazing detail. Whoever purchases this property, they're definitely gonna have something special. Now, we're gonna make our way into the living room area through this nice wide open floor plan. This was recently rehabbed before everything was closed off because it is a very older building. This building was built in 1928, um, but they opened it up for modern living because this is how everyone lives these days. Everybody wants the open concept, the open floor plan. And in my personal opinion, I think they did a fantastic job because this is a little weird of a layout. Now, making your way over here, we have a nice gas fireplace with this beautiful cube design going all the way up to that soffit. We also have crown molding throughout this tray ceiling. We also have a bar area here with storage space underneath. And this is just a really cool detail because you just click that, open it up, and that is your access to the lights. Really, really cool. This baby grand piano also just gives you scale of the room. It's actually a very, very large size. So for any of my music lovers who know how big a baby grand is, you can see there's still plenty of space. Now, we're gonna make our way through this pocket door, and this is actually the master suite. There's a seating area here. It's currently staged as a seating area, but this is actually the beginning of the master suite area. You have, again, another gas fireplace this beautiful cube design. You've got built-ins here, totally amazing. You've got the TV perfectly you know, placed inside of this built-in. It goes all the way up to the ceiling where it matches and meets that crown molding up top. Just really beautiful. What do you think about this space, Armand? You can turn the space into a working space too. Just put an office desk in it. Definitely, it's very nice. And as you can see, I love that the sun is shining through right now because you can just see how much natural light comes through. Now, we're going to make our way into the actual master bedroom. We have two closets. Here's one of the closets here. You can see um, you have everything you need. You have shelves, racks, drawers. I love how they have these glass doors because you'll be able to show off all of the expensive, luxurious items that you purchase. 
here's another closet this would probably be her closet because it's on the bigger side again you've got the same setup just a little bit bigger again the same glass doors and i love how you have these drawers that you can actually lock and hide valuables but speaking of valuables you have this mirror and from a distance it doesn't look like much but it's actually concealing a safe right there so if you want to hide all of your money or diamonds gold anything of extreme value you can go ahead and do that right there now making our way into the actual bedroom we have a very modern uh, bed um, side tables they're very low um, you have a nice textured accent wall it really reminds me of a luxurious hotel suite or mom, what do you think about it? I like the accent walls and I'm kind of noticing them throughout this whole condo. Definitely. Now, we're in the master bathroom. As you can see, tons of natural light is just flooding in. You can actually see the light on this quartz counter, this dual vanity. Very sleek design. You have storage space all throughout. Gray is the theme in this bathroom. You actually have more storage here that's built in. Very, very nice. You know, the gray wallpaper, gray is actually one of my favorite colors, so I'm really digging this bathroom. You've got this beautiful glass paneled shower with the hexagon darker gray tile work. You have a recessed shelf here for all of your essentials. Just overall, very, very nice. Now, we're gonna make our way out of this bedroom through this pocket door, and we're gonna go and show you more bedrooms. Now, making your way down this hallway, we're gonna hit this right, and we're gonna take our way to this bedroom here. As you can see, it's very, very big. You've got a full wall of custom built-ins, and it's housing this really long custom desk, perfect work area, two windows that let tons of natural light flood in the space. You've got a perfect, I really love how this this wallpaper is kind of like a pearl like texture and color and it just really really hits because it's subtle but it also brings a lot of attention and character into the space now we have this ensuite bathroom again quartz countertops very modern very sleek the hexagon tile work porcelain tile all the way throughout on the walls you also have this ambient lighting with the mirror it's just very very modern very cool i also like the square can lights also, again, it's just very modern. This bathtub has the porcelain on the side. You also have this recessed shelf, a nice little glass panel there. Very, very nice. Now, making our way back into the bedroom, we have a custom closet, which is a very generous size. Again, everything that you might need for um, storing all of your clothes. This, this drawer does lock like the other ones in the master suite. Just a very generous size for a closet, very nice. Now, we're gonna make our way out of this bedroom and into the next bedroom. We're gonna take this right, and now we are in another bedroom. Again, very nice accent wall. I love this salmon with the gold, with the birds. Just really creates a really nice vibe to the space. We also have custom closets. And although this closet isn't a walk-in closet, I really feel like they maximize the space to their best of their ability. And I love how they use this door to insert a full-length mirror so you can check yourself out before you leave. Mirrors are crucial. Definitely crucial. Now, we're gonna make our way out of the bedroom and into this powder room. Roman, why don't you just go in there and film this powder room because I know you love it a lot. Yes, this is my favorite bathroom in the whole house. I just think it's absolutely lovely. Yes, you have, you know, the tile work on the floor. You've got a nice glass shower. You have subway tile on the floor that's very microscopic, which is very, very cool. And you have this glass subway tile that's kind of like a light blue with the gold it looks extremely 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 luxurious i love it a lot and you also have the the um, wallpaper that goes all the way around the entire bathroom it's just such a cool bathroom and this is what you want to see in a powder room a powder room 
is supposed to be the creme de la creme. It's supposed to be your best foot forward when it comes to, you know, impressing your guests. It's something that your guests are gonna use most of the time. So, I mean, I, I definitely get it. They have the ambient lighting behind the mirror. Amazing, amazing bathroom. I like how the aesthetic of this wallpaper matches the same wallpaper aesthetic in the foyer area. Yeah, really, really cool. I love it. Now, making our way back down this hallway towards the dining room area, we also have another closet, um, which is equipped with built-ins, drawers, shelves, everything that you might need. Um, we're actually hanging our coats there. Um, but making our way back into the dining room area, now we're gonna go through this way into this family room area. As you can see, this whole wall is windows, letting in tons of natural light. Again, nice open concept here, and we're gonna make our way into this 250,000 European style kitchen. It's a full Mila suite, amazing. We're gonna start off here with this breakfast eating area. We have the dual sub-zero wine temperature controlled fridge. It's very nice. This whole wall here is nothing but storage space. You have nothing but storage space. And I just love how modern this paneling is, it's very modern. Taking a look this way, we have the quartz everywhere. It's two inches thick. We have cooling drawers here by Sub-Zero. As soon as you open up these drawers, the lights pop on. Very, very nice and essential if you love to cook. Coming this way, we have this huge Sub-Zero refrigerator, beautifully paneled. We have your pull-out freezer drawers here, and then another one here at the bottom. And then you also have a pull-out pantry here as well, which is very convenient. Roman, what do you think about this? I think this kitchen gives you so much storage space and I love the paneling. I love how it's carried out throughout the whole kitchen as well. Yes, definitely. It's so unique and just so modern, so fresh. Here we have your first dishwasher here. Again, we have quartz everywhere, a huge window that brings in a tons of natural light. And I just want to show you the attention to detail in these drawers. Look at these drawers. Look at the finishes on the inside of these drawers. Just very, very nice. Now, here we have a recessed area where you could put maybe plants or, you know, anything that you might want to display. More shelving underneath, ambient lighting up top. And we also have these doors that open up kind of like garage doors. And you just pull these to bring them back down. Really cool. Now over here, we have your secondary dishwasher there. We have your built-in Mila range and hood. We have your dual Mila ovens here. And I love the digital clock. Again, more storage space here. They actually have this as kind of like a coffee bar setup. You have your microwave. You have a Keurig there. Now making your way this way, we have another full wall of storage which is very very nice because it's directly outside of this very generously sized laundry room you've got your side-by-side -side samsung machines you have storage space here storage space here and you also have paper towels that are hooked up to the wall right there so they're out of the way which is a very cool feature you have a sink these condos these older condos never had um laundry rooms inside of them. So the fact that this one has a laundry room is a very unique detail. Now, moving into this bathroom, this is one of my favorites in the property. I love the floor. Again, the hexagon floors, but this time they're kind of outlined, which just make it look very cool. You've got, you know, this black matte finish on the faucet and the handles. Um, and again, you kind of have that hexagon like pattern on the mirror as well. And you also have a mirror on these drawers. Very, very cool. Just a cool detail. They, they mimic and literally show the floors in this mirror. It's just very cool. Now, we have another shower, glass panel, more of the black matte finishes, tile work all the way around. Just very, very nice. Now, Making our way this way, we're gonna make our way into the final bedroom, which is currently staged as a little seating room. This could be a bedroom. Um, they have plenty of natural light coming in through these windows. We have a full wall of built-ins. We also have the radiators here, which just remind you that this used to be a very, very old space. 
Um, and then we have outdoor access that leads you to the backyard area. We're not gonna open it up now just because it's very, very cold. We don't wanna let any of the air in, but that wraps up this home tour. Let's go into the living room so we can summarize our thoughts on this property. All right, everyone, that wraps up this home tour. Let me know in the comments section below, what did you think about this property? I know for myself, I really loved and appreciated the attention to detail that they put throughout the home. I really love how they opened everything up, especially because people love the open concept nowadays. I think that it's a very unique property and I don't think it's gonna last long. Now, with that said, don't forget to turn that notification bell on. I will be dropping new content every week, so you don't wanna miss out on that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.